I'm Raymond Perrier, the director of the Dennis Hurley Centre, and we're immensely grateful for the generosity of the Lenten Appeal in supporting our work. We're based right in the very heart of Durban, with Emmanuel Cathedral on one side and the mosque and the market on the other side. And we're at the place where some of the poorest people in Durban congregate, homeless people, the unemployed, foreign nationals and refugees. And we're there to respond to their needs just as Archbishop Hurley did when he was administrator at the cathedral. That means feeding the hungry. We fed 170,000 meals to the homeless last year. It means providing health care to those who don't have access to government health care. A lot of refugees and homeless people will be rejected from government clinics. They come to our clinic, know that they won't be rejected and that they can be met by people who speak their language and welcome them. It's really important that the church is seen as being on the front line of service to the poor. The motto of the Oblates, and Dennis Hurley was an Oblate, is go and bring good news to the poor. And that's what we try to do. As you know, the Cathedral of Durban is Emmanuel Cathedral. And our project to help the homeless is called Incosinati, Emmanuel, God is with us. And we believe that God is with us in three ways in our work. God is with us because we couldn't do what we do without God's help. And that's been evidenced by your generosity in supporting the Lenten Appeal. God is with us because every face who comes into the Dennis Hurdy Centre is the presence of God in our lives. And we need to recognise God's presence in the homeless, in the poor, in the refugee. And God is with us because all of the staff members and volunteers who work at the Dennis Hurdy Centre are the hands and the eyes and the feet of God in our world. So please continue to support the Lenten Appeal, continue to support the Dennis Hurley Centre and help us to bring the presence of God to the poorest part of central Durban. Thank you.